Hello everybody and welcome to the official fixme.it channel. In this video I'll show you how to configure a remote client's desktop for unattended access in the fixme.it remote desktop application. In fact, there are two different ways to do that. Let's walk through the first option step by step. In order to set up unattended access, first of all you'll need to connect to the client. Start a new session, enter the client ID provided by the client, and send a request to connect to the remote computer. Upon receiving the client's consent, you will need to send another request for unattended access setup. In the setup unattended access form that appears, you can enter a name for the unattended machine and a group you'd like to add to it. Besides that, you can also request Windows login credentials that will allow you to quickly and easily start a new unattended session whenever needed without being prompted for the client's credentials each time. It's worth mentioning that Windows login credentials will become available to you only if the client gives you their permission to provide you with this kind of access, or you can enter these credentials on behalf of the client if you have them. Let's perform the setup itself. The request is now sent to the client, and the expert is waiting for their permission to connect. Again, unattended access can be configured only at the client's consent, so you can't influence the process in any way or make the selection for them. Now let's see what the expert's request look like on the client's desktop. So here it is. The client can see who has sent the request, what privileges the expert will soon have as they're given this permission, etc. Besides that, the client can enter their Windows login credentials. If the client accepts the request, the unattended access will be configured on their desktop, and this icon will appear in the system tray. Now let's go back to the expert application interface to see what we have there. So, here we are in the expert application again. After unattended access setup is complete, you can end the regular support session and you'll see a new listing in your unattended client list. Here you can connect to the client's computer, edit the listing, change the client's name or group, etc. That being said, now that you have fully featured unattended access to the client's machine and can manage the machine within your list. The second option to set up unattended access is by simply running an installer file, and then the download section where you can download the unattended access setup file for your account. You can then send this file to the client in any way of your choice, download and save onto a USB flash drive, or just copy the link to this file and send it to the clients as a URL. Either way, the client will receive the file that's already ready to be installed and just needs to be clicked on. Now let's move on to the client's desktop. Having received the file from the expert, the client just needs to run the program. At this point, the client might get a UAC request that they need to accept. The procedure that follows will be carried out automatically. They will just get a notification saying that the unattended access setup is complete. This means that the client's machine can now be accessed without their presence or involvement. Let's see what's changed in the expert application. After unattended access setup is complete, the expert can now see a new listing in the unattended client list. Note that the client's name automatically corresponds with the system name of their computer. Here you can also view other useful data, such as the name of the logged in Windows user, whether there has been any recent activity on the remote machine, current status of the machine, and when the unattended machine was set up and last accessed by the expert. So let's go ahead and connect to the new unattended client. So the connection has been successful and we navigate to the home tab. From here you can run various operations on the remote desktop. For now we only have access to the remote desktop control function because the remote machine is currently at the Windows logon screen and the Windows logon process still needs to be completed. Let's get back to the unattended client tab. Here you can see that the connect button has changed to open which means the session has been started. You can now go back to the home tab from where you can start working with this unattended client's machine. Thank you for watching this video and we'll see you next time.